Morning, here I am in Valentine's Park, which is uh, about two or three minutes from where I live. It's a beautiful park, it's one of the most beautiful parks in London actually. Um, I think the king used to keep mistresses here. Um, as in fact, actually Essex was the, was basically the king's personal estate. He used it as his hunting grounds. So historical lesson over. The reason I'm blogging today is because <sighs> shots have asked me to write an article and like any good writer, I'm procrastinating. So I thought I'd do this to get the juices going. Uh, they've asked me to share my process and um, they know what I do, they want to know how I do it. And it's, you know, it's, it's a curious thing. Writing is telepathy. Um, ghost writing is even more so. You know, in normal writing, I'm putting my thoughts into your head. Uh, in ghost writing, I've got to get the thoughts from the director's head and then put them in your head. <coughs> So I have a process. Um, my process starts early in the morning. I'm generally awake at uh, 4.30 to 5 o'clock. Um, I love getting up at that time. That's not to say I hit the keyboard then. I have my own morning ritual <sighs> comprising of um, breathing, awareness, coffee, lots of coffee, um, having a good breakfast um, and getting some exercise. And one of, the, one of the places that I love to come to is, um, is this place here because writing is basically embedded thinking. If, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how good a writer you are if you haven't got sort of like big clever thoughts to transmit. So this is where I come to get my big clever thoughts. It's, um, it's always been a wonderful place for me. I, you know, I like to think of it as a secret place. It's one of my favorite spots in London. It's, it's, great, to, it's, it's great to be able to, to, to work in London, actually. There's just so much culture, so much history, so much inspiration, such a great vibe and such a great buzz. I'm really lucky to be here um, and I'm really lucky to do the amount of travel that I do. So uh, I think I'll sign off now and I think I'll go and put, um, put pen to paper and, uh, and start sketching out. That's the other thing I do actually, I still use a pen and paper and when I write something I sort of like, you know, write the structure and uh, I write a visual map of what I'm going to say and what I'm going to do and then when it's the computer it's a question of how I'm going to say it. So I'll sign off now, see you soon.